Ecological engineering is to build while minimizing the impact on ecosystems at the pristine Sanyuan Beach in Taiwan's Taidong to minimize the impact tourists have on the environment. A group of volunteers decided to build a trail safe for both tourists and local wildlife. Here's more. Early in the morning, several residents from Fusan Village in Taidong's Beinan Township are already getting to work. We first organize our tools. We will start working on the beach later. This is Shanyuan Beach. It neighbors the controversial Miramar Resort, where developers cover the beach's pristine beauty and abundance in marine life. The chance to be up close and personal with fish and crabs has drawn many tourists, who have brought destruction in their wake. A lot of seaweed grows on top of the coral reefs. However, when tourists come and step on them, they wither and die. We hope that when tourists come to enjoy this area, that they will walk and stay on this trail. To minimize human interference and promote a harmonious existence between man and nature, local residents formed an organization to protect local marine life. With the support of private funding and the local government, they decided to build an ecological trail. We push on even when soaked or submerged in water. We pile up the rocks one by one. When the cold front hit a few days ago, it was freezing cold. The 200-meter-long trail is being built out of rocks found right by the beach instead of concrete. The truth is, including Taiwan's offshore islands, nearly 60 percent of the country's shorelines are contaminated by concrete structures. When something hard like concrete is put in place here, the shoreline and landscape will also change accordingly. The beach may disappear. Then where will the wildlife living there go? They might disappear or even become extinct. Concrete-made structures such as embankments and wave breakers severely disrupt and impair shoreline habitats. Concrete will weather and is not porous enough. Marine life will not be able to take shelter there. Visually and aesthetically, concrete is not that good either. The best way is to use what's readily available and apply ecological engineering. Chen Shiyue is familiar with the local ecology and thus know how to build a trail that is ecologically safe. No steel or reinforced concrete is used. Instead, plastic netting bonds the rocks together, with pipes inserted to allow passage for marine life. Look, here it is full of crabs. The crabs are hiding here. That is exactly the goal of ecological engineering. The association's efforts have rubbed off on local residents and shopkeepers. Han Zhongxing, who runs a coffee van, decides to take action as well. You cannot pick up the rocks and the seashells here, as this is a conservation area. Don't worry, just put them back. Han also shows his support by providing free beverages for the association's members. He hopes people can learn to cherish the island's marine resources. This is a form of education. If people who visit here can come and identify with the concept of conservation and even promote it, then there will be hope for Taiwan. Will ecological engineering harm the environment? It still will. But you can only choose which method will be the least harmful to the area. That's the direction you have to take. Taiwan residents are blessed to be surrounded by the ocean. If we can learn to enjoy this gift with respect and gratitude, we can ensure more people and future generations will be able to enjoy them as well.